Welcome to Tazunomi Online Mathematics, question 16 of our trending WASI 2022 general mathematics paper. This question is on a quadratic equation. Question 16, please, if this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell for more notification. Let's keep liking, sharing, and putting our comment in the comment section if we have any. So this is quadratic. It's a what value of P. P is the constant term here. We'll make this quadratic equation a perfect square. Now for a quadratic equation to be a perfect square, we know that our determinant, uh, discriminant, the discriminant must be equal to zero. And the discriminant also is in this form b squared minus 4ac where in this case our a is going to be the coefficient of x squared which is 1 b is going to be coefficient of x which is going to be minus 4 and our c is going to be the p our c is the p so we are saying that the Discriminant must be equal to zero, meaning this must be equal to zero. So if I'm taking this as b, which is this, I become minus 4 all squared minus 4a, which is not 1, times c, which is what? p must give us what? Zero. And I believe negative 4 squared will give us what? Positive 16 minus 4p equals to zero we are looking for p so we send p to the other side as in for p negative here it becomes what positive there so 16 equals to positive 4p but you can agree with me that if i'm looking for p which is having the coefficient of 4 i divide both sides by that coefficient so that becomes 4p over 4 16 over what? 4. And P is just going to be what? 4. It means it is P must be 4 before this equation becomes a perfect square. Before this equation becomes a perfect square, the possible answer, I think, that is answer C on the question paper. So any time you are looking for uh, a quadratic equation that is perfect, your discriminant must be equal to zero, then you are good to go. All right, I believe if you followed, please leave your comment below and like the video and share with anybody who you think might need this video. See you in the next episode as we solve question 17.